Uh, the top rainfall totals in the 24 hours to 9am uh, were through the Mount Lofty Ranges where we saw totals of around uh, 50 to 100 millimetres recorded. Uh, the, the top total uh, was at uh, uh, Woodhouse where we saw 96 millimetres. Um, now across the metropolitan area uh, we had rainfall totals of uh, around that 20 to 50 millimetre mark uh, through the same time frame. Uh, in Adelaide we saw 42 millimetres which makes it the wettest day uh, since last June uh, and about the fifth wettest day in the last decade. So some significant uh, rainfall certainly across the metropolitan area. Uh, on top of the, the steady rainfall that we saw right through yesterday, uh, we actually saw a fairly heavy band of showers and thunderstorms move across the metropolitan area yesterday evening. Uh, and as that moved through the southern suburbs, across Marion and, and through the southern hills, we saw rainfall totals of around 20 millimetres uh, in half an hour. So some heavy rainfall and that resulted in a significant increase in flash flood impacts. Uh, the river rises uh, through the Mount Lofty Ranges. Uh, we saw through the Onkaparinga River, uh, some river levels there uh, exceed the minor flood level yesterday evening and peak just below the moderate flood level uh, in the early hours of this morning at a, a couple of locations in the upper part of the catchment around uh, Oak Bank uh, and Woodside. Uh, there is still a minor flood warning out for the Onkapringa River, uh, but those water levels are on the way down and uh, we, we aren't expected to see any uh, further significant flooding given that there isn't any more rainfall in, in the short term forecast uh, for the Mount Lofty Ranges. So across the weekend, uh, we are expecting another burst of uh, wet and windy weather for the state. Uh, so that's in association with a secondary deep low pressure system which is moving uh, to the south of our state. Uh, so that low uh, will be staying uh, well to the south though. So uh, yesterday's low pressure system was uh, fairly close to, to the, the coastal parts uh, but this low is going to be a little bit further south meaning the focus of the rainfall uh, will actually be a, a little bit further south uh, but we are still expecting some widespread uh, strong and gusty winds. Uh, so with that, uh, we, are, we are potentially looking at the, the need for issuing severe weather warnings for, for those damaging winds, but we're still in the process of assessing that. Uh, but even without re receiving damaging winds, given the soils are now pretty saturated, particularly through the hills, we're likely to see uh, uh, further impacts in, in terms of trees down. Uh, through the, the Mount Lofty Ranges, uh, rainfall totals, uh, they're mostly going to be through that southern half, so fortunately south of that Onkaparinga catchment. Uh, but as we move into to later Saturday, Sunday, uh, some of those showers will push a little bit further north uh, across the Mount Lofty Ranges, and, and we're likely to see uh, further rainfall totals, uh, uh, probably in that 10 to 20 millimetre range, maybe some isolated higher falls uh, through that Onkaparinga catchment. But Current, uh, currently, we're, we're likely um, to see some river rises, but not, not to the same level we did last night, and, and current predictions are they're going to remain uh, below that minor flood level. But we're still going to monitor this situation very closely and issue uh, further uh, flood watches uh, and warnings as necessary. So, yeah, just in summary, some very significant rainfall uh, yesterday. Uh, things easing off today, but some further showery and, and windy conditions right across the, the weekend. So, uh, yeah, please... Uh, uh, keep an eye on the warnings uh, that, that are issued for, for the weekend.